series. So as you can see, I have a full face of makeup and it's kind of like a natural look. I don't know. I like it though. So I've been doing this series where I teach you guys how to start doing makeup for beginners. In the last two videos, I did face and eye. So now you guys know how to put on your own makeup. But now you need to know how to take it off. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and what I do to not get acne when I wear makeup. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I hope this video is helpful. And let's get straight on with the video. The number one question about acne, which is how do you wear makeup without getting acne? So this is what has worked for me for about a year and a half because I've been wearing makeup for about that long. A lot of people are different because of our skin type. So I have in between oily and normal skin. Some people have very oily or very dry or right in between. So this is what works for me. If you want to wear makeup without getting acne, you have to take it off. And that's the number one tip. Obviously, there's other things that you can do. Like you can take vitamins. You can stay healthy. Your diet has a lot to do with acne. Acne. But when you're young and you're wearing makeup like me, you have to take it off every night. So here are the products that I use. First, I take off my makeup using makeup wipes. So my mom actually got these for $2 at Kroger. So I used to use like the blue Neutrogena ones, but they kind of burnt my skin. They felt like my skin was like tingling. I didn't like the feeling of them. So I got a different brand. These ones are just literally from Kroger. My mom said that they were $2. $2. So I use this to take off all the makeup and then I put my hair in this little guy. Basically, it's a super tight headband that you put behind your hair like that because you don't want to get your hair wet or anything. It just kind of helps you be more comfortable when washing your face. I got this actually from Michaels. It was like in the gift section. So then I switch off every other night by using this exfoliator and cleansing gel. So I switch from the exfoliator and the cleansing gel. And I don't have like any of those special like big mechanical like tool things. I just rub it on my hands, rub it all over my face, get every part of my face, splash it on my face like that. If you want like a really cheap brand, you can literally go to Kroger and get like an Olay cleanser. Face masks also really, really work. My sister Lily started to get her acne when she was about 13. 13 and 12 because she would wear makeup to gymnastics. She would come home and she wouldn't wipe it off and that's how her acne became a thing. You guys just need to watch out for that. That's what's cool being the younger sister. I can learn from my sister's mistakes. <laughs> Another little thing is that washing your face five times a day isn't going to make a difference to washing it one time a day. You don't want to overwash. Because my friend Hope, one time we were FaceTiming and her face was all red and it had rashes and I was like, what happened to your face? And she told me that she overwashed. If you wash your face and then you get a towel and like go uh, 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 trying to dry it or what I used to do is I used to put cleanser onto a towel, wet the towel and then scrub it around my face. That's not good. Towels, they're not really good for your skin and they're not good for your hair. That's just another little tip. So there's a lot of things you can do to clean up your face. Just make sure that anytime you wear makeup, even mascara, you wash it off and you clean your face. One clean a day will keep the acne away. All right, now it's time to take off this makeup. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm gonna start by wiping off most of the makeup just so that when I wash my face, like there's not extra mascara dripping down my face and stuff. Oh, so cold need to get in the habit, especially while you're young, because I know a lot of y'all are like 11 and 12, you need to get in the habit of when you brush your teeth, you just wash your face once a day. Get those eyebrows. I'm going to turn the water on hot because I hate like the feeling of like super coldness on my face. I'm just going to put this on. I actually love this little thing and then I tuck my ponytail in the back of it. Today I'm going to use the cleanser instead of the exfoliator. So I'm just going to get that much and then I rub it all in. I'm going to use the makeup wipe. I'm going to get some of that mascara off. One last rinse. And now I'm just going to pat dry, not, you know, hurt me. It feels so good to just have a clean face. Okay, so now I have literally zero makeup on. But yeah, that's basically my skincare routine. Occasionally I'll have like spots on my chin, like little like little tiny pimples that are really small. That happens to everyone. No matter what you do, you're always going to have a pimple around your face once or twice. Like my mom has perfect skin, but she'll always have like one spot here or there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit shorter, but I hope you've been loving this series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have 
any tips from personal experience because I shared all of mine. But if you have any tips of your own, you should totally comment them below. And I'll see you guys next week.